Welcome to the Dog on Positive Way, where I am going to teach you how to train your dog using science-based methods that we know work, and it's going to be easy, and it's going to be fun. Anybody can do it, and it can be done anywhere. So hang out with me, listen to my pod, and let's get going and training your dogs. Welcome back to episode two of Shut Up Rover. This episode is called Yo Human. I like to call it that because your dog comes up to you and literally barks in your face as if we're supposed to just get up and A, understand what they want and B, serve them. Hmm, I don't think so. Rover, I'm not serving you. So how many of you can relate to that? I know that in the past, I have had dogs who have done that. All dogs will try that. But it's up to you whether or not you reinforce that behavior. If your dog comes up to you and barks in your face and you're like, oh, what do you need? What do you need? And reinforce it. Guess what you just did? You created a behavior problem more than likely. We're talking about dogs who are not stimulated enough mentally. That's for sure. Um, They want something. Maybe they want to play. Maybe they want to go out. Maybe they're hungry. There are a variety of reasons, right? We talked a little bit about that in the last episode. Um, And having a dog come up to you and just start barking in your face is obnoxious and it is demanding. And what I want you to do is turn your head away and not make eye contact with your dog. If you make eye contact with your dog or you start engaging verbally with them or (laughs) the cardinal sin is you start touching them That's the ultimate reinforcement, guys. Um, I just want you to realize that that's reinforcement. We want to withdraw reinforcement. We want to remove something. We want to remove our, you know, uh, gaze, our verbal commands, our physical commands, everything. 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 Even if it's funny, because sometimes they do that to us, right? They do something and they're barking at us and it is hilarious. This has happened to you. You know it. It's happened to me. So I'm not making this up. So, but again, we don't want to reinforce behavior. So you can get up and walk away. You can turn your head. Don't say anything. Don't look at them. And here's the thing. Barking might get a little worse, but continue to ignore it. As soon as the barking stops, you can mark the behavior with the word yes and give them a treat. Now, you might not be in the position to give them a treat. So how's about you just reinforce them verbally, mark it with a yes and reinforce them verbally. I want you to see what they are barking at you for. Is it a pattern? Are they doing it at the same time every day? Some dogs get into a pattern and a routine because we're humans and we get into routines like nobody's business and we feed our dogs the same exact time every single day of our lives and their lives. I'm telling you, when you do that, it really messes things up. But I know that sometimes we have no choice based on our schedule. But with that being said, when I had my daycare and training facility, my dogs didn't know when they were going to get fed. It was always different. And I mixed it up for them because I wanted to be able to have a normal life and be able to travel, be able to leave them with other people and have them eat whenever and wherever 
they were being fed, whether it was by me or by another person. We'll put that on the side for a moment. That's going to be another, yet another episode um, that deals with future-proofing your dog. Um, So getting back to the demand barking, when your dog comes up to you, they start barking at you, get up, walk away, turn your face, turn your head, whatever. Don't reinforce them. Don't talk to them. It's real simple. So the barking in your face, we call it, Yo, human, it's attention-seeking behavior, right? They want something. So what about the times when you're crate training your dog? And especially in the beginning, whether it's a puppy or an adult dog, we're not talking about dogs who have separation anxiety. I just want to make that clear. That's a whole nother situation. And again, that's going to be another episode later down the road. So what you have to be concerned with is getting your puppy or dog used to the crate. And puppies will whine, dogs, adult dogs may whine and bark, and you need to ignore them because, again, the minute you look at them or you get up and you let your dog out of the crate or your puppy out of the crate because they're whining, you have just reinforced that behavior. They've just learned you only have to do it one time. All I have to do is cry or bark or whimper one time or paw at the crate And these people are going to let me out. So I'm here to tell you humans, stop reinforcing that behavior. I'm not talking about a puppy that has to pee or anything like that. That's a different situation and you guys know what I'm talking about. We're talking about the dog who has gone out, has pottied, has been exercised, whether it's a puppy or an adult dog, and you put that dog in the crate and they start whining ignore them please ignore them do yourself a favor and please do your dogs a favor you've got to ignore this behavior it can turn into something much worse further down the line like anxiety and separation anxiety you absolutely want to prevent separation anxiety but we're going to talk about separation anxiety in another episode so just to go over everything again, and then I'm going to sign off. Here's what you have to do. Ignore the demanding barking. Provide exercise for your dog. Provide enrichment toys for your dog. Get Kongs. Get lick mats. Get buster cubes. Do training. Keep them engaged. Keep them exercised. Remember, a tired dog is a good dog. A tired dog is not going to get into all your stuff. A tired dog is going to be easier to train, easier to live with, easier to hang out with. So just remember those tips and give me a shout. I can't wait to hear from you. You can DM me. You can message me. You can leave comments right here. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on the doggone positive way. I hope I've helped you solve some of your behavior problems. And if you have questions, please leave comments. If you liked what you heard, please leave comments. Please share the podcast. Let your friends know I'm here to help you and your dogs and their dogs. Thanks again for listening. Can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye.